Hello and welcome to this new Construct 3 tutorial where I'm showing you how to create a game with turrets but instead of using the normal turret behavior that automatically acquires targets uh, anywhere in the scene uh, we will use uh, turrets that we control ourselves where the angle of the view is limited. And you can see here the turrets at the left hand side they have a, a little cone of view here at the right hand side um, limited to 90 degrees and the turret stays within that 90 degrees. So once a target is out of that 90 degrees it just lets it go, you see that. Um, so let's see how that works. First, like at uh, layout, these are the enemies, of course. Uh, the enemies, uh, they have the bullet behavior and they will move from the right to the left, uh, starting at some random place. Then there's the turrets that consist out of two parts. The turret base is the yellow part and it has the line of sight behavior. So we set its range to 300 pixels and the cone of view is 90 degrees, which is exactly these 90 degrees here at the right hand side. Uh, and inside the same container, um, there is uh, another sprite that has a turret behavior with the same range. Um, and with target mode is just to uh, fire at the first one in range here. Uh, but that doesn't really matter because we will acquire our targets ourselves. So um, let's see in the event sheet. The event sheet uh, is pretty simple in that sense we start off with the turret base and the turrets we set the position of the turret exactly at an image point um, and we rotate it to the angle of the turret so the turret base is uh, linked to the position and the angle uh, of uh, the turret and this event is where the magic happens so this event is executed on every tick and for every turret um, the uh, layout, uh, we will execute some code. We check if the turret has acquired a target or not. So remember that if you work with turrets, you should on start of layout or somewhere in the beginning of your game, you should tell the turret, okay, these enemies are the things you're going to be shooting at. Um, so he automatically acquires the targets of the enemies and he starts shooting at them. Here, in this example that doesn't happen and uh, so it doesn't start shooting immediately if we were to comment out this code he wouldn't do anything in fact so what happens is we if the turret does not have something as a target if it's sitting there idle we will check if the turret base finds an enemy in its line of sight if so we will pick the nearest one and we will indicate to the turret that that specific enemy is his new acquired target. If, on the other hand, it has a target and the enemy that it has as a target, it uses here turret.turret.targetUID as an expression to identify the enemy it's currently shooting at. If it has lost, lost the line of sight from the turret base, he will unacquire the target. So the essence of the game is that each turret fires at one single target at the same time until it uses sight. That's it. So um, on turret on turret shoot, of course, we will start uh, spawning a projectile, and that projectile you can see it here on top. It's just got the bullet behavior. Um, enemies every 1.5 seconds, we will spawn a random uh, an enemy at a random place. That's it. We will uh, set the angle on the speed and some uh, HP and on collision with the enemy we destroy the enemy. Um, we, we destroy the projectile of course and we subtract one from HP and if it's smaller or equal than zero we just destroy it. Uh, that's it. So the essence of the game is that the turret acquires the target one by one and shoots at it. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. As always, please like and subscribe, and in the description down below you will find a link where you can get the free template. Thank you!